Melissa Bohr Jacobson here with Confident Life Coaching and Hypnotherapy, and today I want to talk about bullying, which is a major source of lifelong anxiety and stress. And many of my clients experience or have experienced bullying, not only in school, but in college and the workplace. So today I'm going to give you five ways to handle verbal bullying, taunting, and put downs. Bullying is actually about domination and power. Now, although bullies may appear confident, ironically, bullies are anything but. They have a need to feel powerful precisely because they don't feel good about themselves. The negative emotional reactions they get from verbally bullying others gives them an addicting sense of power. They need to bully others more and more because it's the only way they feel momentarily good about themselves. As soon as the feeling of power fades, they need to find another source. And the more upset and angry the victim is, the better for the bully. There will always be bullies because there will always be wounded people who have no other way to feel powerful, but we can defeat them. And when they don't get a reaction, bullies do not get their need for power met. They move on to seek their power elsewhere. Opting out of reacting or retaliating to teasing, taunting, or verbal bullying robs the bullies of their power. So instead of responding with anger, sadness, or other emotions, we can show bullies that they have no power or effect on our self-esteem and happiness. So here are five steps to handle verbal bullying, taunting, and put downs. Number one, install unshakable self-esteem and confidence. When one has that, the opinion of the bully and their comments are always powerless and irrelevant. Number two, taunting, teasing, and put downs have no power unless we let them we have the power to decide, am I going to let that in? Do not let taunts, teasing, and put downs in. Literally say out loud or internally, I am not letting that in. Number three, remind yourself, it's not me. Remember, critical people feel the most critical about themselves. They only appear confident. If they were confident, they'd have no need to put others down. Their comments have nothing to do with you and everything to do with their view of themselves. Number four, respond to put downs with, thanks for sharing. Number five, ask them to repeat the comment by saying, I didn't hear what you said, can you repeat that? They will often retreat because they feel challenged and bullies prefer an easy mark over a challenge. If they repeat the insult, respond with, got it. It's too bad you don't feel good about yourself, but that has nothing to do with me. Unshakable self-esteem and confidence is the ultimate antidote to verbal bullying. Your children and you can be free to have unshakable self-confidence and self-esteem, even in the presence of verbal bullies. Do you have questions about how I give people unshakable self-esteem and confidence? so they can achieve success under any circumstances? Book a free consult today and I'll tell you exactly how.